Hey guys, Paul from Ash Phoenix's new comic book day for the week of July 12th. Welcome back. I hope you had a good holiday. Uh, we're a little short-handed today because Tim's out for the next couple weeks, but we have a replacement. Justina's here. She was here last week, and uh, or not last week, but the week before last, and she'll be here again uh, for the next two weeks. Um, if you like her longer, but at least for the next two weeks. So we're going to get started right now. All right, first up, guys, is is Titans issue number 13. Um, Endgame. Uh, we're still dealing with a lot of the effects of the Lazarus contract um, and going through this series. Uh, this is setting up the new arc of what's going to be going on. Uh, someone has betrayed the Titans. We don't know who yet. We don't know what. Um, but things are falling apart. Like the wheels are starting to fall off the Titans. Uh, I love this book. It's still been my book. Even though Brett Booth is no longer the artist, as far as I know, um, it's still a good series, and the art has not suffered uh, signif significantly enough for me to to uh, to care about. Um, so, if you've been a fan of this of Titan series, if you've been uh, watching our stuff before, nothing has really changed other than uh, the book is starting to heat up and really starting to move in a great place. So, definitely pick this one up. Hey guys, it's Justina Keys of Team Ashen, and I'm here to talk to you about some comic books that I read. So this is Mage, the Hero Denied, Issue Zero. It's pretty cute. <laughs> it's leading up to, you know, issue number one, which is looking to be pretty intense from the start. I don't want to ruin it for you, but there's some pretty bad monster that's pretty bad. <laughs> it looks scary. I don't know what else to tell you without ruining it. Other than that, there's some little hipster douchebag dude that gets to kill things with holographic, like, hoverboard shoes and listens to music and sings a song about himself and might be a little crazy. I don't know. Kind of annoyed me. But it was a good read. It was cute. I recommend it. Didn't he call himself the Steez? <laughs> What's a Steez? I don't know. Apparently some hipster douchebag. <laughs> Next up, we have Dark Days the Casting, issue number one. I don't know if you can see this. It's a special cover because it's the 90s again and special covers are all the rage. I know Al is back there giggling to himself because he hates special covers. Because <laughs> he does. But this is the issue leading up to the next big thing in DC, which is Dark Days, where the Dark Dimensions collapse on themselves into Earth, and all hell literally breaks loose. Uh, this is an interesting book. I've never been a fan of J.R. J.R. Uh, for those who don't know, that's John Romita Jr. Um, just not... I don't like his art style, but for this particular issue, um, it fits because we do want that grittier feel to it. Um, we are dealing with Batman pushing through and finding the mystery of, of the uh, godlike metals and pushing everybody aside because once we know uh, Batman, he doesn't listen to anyone, and that leads to catastrophic problems that will lead directly into the series. Pick it up if you are a fan of Batman because this is a Snyder book. Um, and he did an amazing job during the New 52. Um, and if you like that art, you're going to love this. Or if you like that writing, you're going to love this. So next I have Zombies Assemble. Also issue zero because I'm really good at that, apparently. But Zub wrote it. I like Zub. <laughs> so yeah, it's about Iron Man and Pepper. I'm just going to rant for a second because I don't like Gwyneth Paltrow and Gwyneth Paltrow is who I associate with Pepper so the entire time I read in a really annoying voice but it was cute and she's all like hey Tony stop like putting your life in the line for the world because I love you and Tony's like yeah okay <laughs> like yeah I'll do that and then she comes up with this cool plan so that he can still save the world but not have to you know nearly die every time and then you know they get attacked by stuff. Oh, and uh, Bruce Banner is like the zing at Tony because Tony's like, this is what I'm going to say to Pepper. And you think he's saying it's Pepper and then he doesn't. And then Bruce is like, why don't you actually say that to Pepper instead of me and maybe it'll be good. And it's cute. And even though I don't like Pepper, I still think you should read this. All right, guys. And that is pretty much it for the week. Thanks again. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, even though Tim's not here, subscribe to his channel right over here. You missed last week's uh, video. Well, not last week's, but the week before the video. It'll be right here, and then random videos over here. And again, guys, we will see you next week.